Rough. Hey y'all! Wow, it's been like two seconds. <laughs> huh? I mean, oh well, well, they probably have been looking for it. They probably just kept refreshing my page. Like. <laughs> Okay, so what is the next guess speaking or why I wait? Uh, the same two likes and everything. Yes, 150 like K likes guys and 300 shares. Go ahead, double tap that screen, y'all. k 150k 150k likes 300 shares 300 shares she's just saying no oh okay thank you okay this is her gun by the way mm -hmm. oh yeah, shares 300 shares and 150k likes okay I'm gonna look through the request because I know we probably already have 99 yes I was right thank y'all for the first 50k appreciate it keep those having that screen mm-hmm Uh-huh, 150K. Mm -hmm. Huh, there's another poly couple on here. Let's get the shares up. Three hundred shares. You wanted three hundred. Five hundred. Okay. Hmm. That's what you want. <laughs> you can do more. Like you got. Five hundred shares. Five hundred shares. Oh my gosh. How am I for the Ooh. Okay. We found the next I found the next guest. Oh, this this is the girl. This is a girl from Instagram. Which one? Kalani. Oh, bring her up. Right now? Yeah, sure. Hi, Kalani. We're going to bring you up. Thank hey. You. Hi, Kalani. Can you turn Hi. your camera on? Hi, my boy. Oh, you got your camera on. <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi. You look so cute, girl. Oh, I'm sick, so just excuse that. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Kalani. I'm from Maryland. 
Hey, nice. Most what is the questions, Kayla? Okay, so I just wanted to come up here and ask questions that I feel like nobody else has really asked, um, or like that other questions people want to ask. Um, my first question is. I know you guys have seen the other clips. I know that's your penthouse, right? It's penthouse, right? That you guys stay in now. Um, I know there's been other TikToks, basically, of other people that also have lived or, like, other content creators. What do you guys have to say about that? Like, is it a penthouse content creators use or? Yo, what other TikTokers have you seen here? Um, it was actually a TikTok I seen. It was a couple of different uh, male and female, like in the penthouse, in front of the um, painting that's in the back, in front of the computer. There's mm -hmm. other content creators that have. Um, so all the all the stuff was the same, right? Yeah, like it looked. It and was, and were the was were the exactly. were the awards there too with my name on it? Well, I can't really see the awards, mm -hmm. like see your name what on the, it, but it's. I'm with you. Well, the awards have my name on it. And all these, you know, arts that look like AMX cars, even though they're art, it's just custom art. Um, those have my name on it as well. So wouldn't that reinforce that this is my place? And like I said, like when I do business with people, when I have clients, I'll do whatever it takes to like make sure they succeed. So when my clients are crushing it, I actually fly my clients out and they come and visit me. Right. I'm not the guy that's just selling courses. Like when I do business with somebody, and you crush it, I'm going to fly you out. That's just how I am. So, you, you Yeah, it was more so of, like, I know there were people saying that it was an Airbnb. Um, I know there were people saying that other, con like, it's just a penthouse that I think, other content I think, I think people will just look at any way to, like, disprove. Like, people see us and they have an opinion and that's cool. And they just look for ways to, like, defend their opinion. I mean, if it's an Airbnb, how will we go live here every day? Like, if somebody messages me on Instagram and asks me a question and I send you a video message, like, how am I able to send you a video message from this place every day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand that, but I think that kind of ties into why people are saying, oh, you haven't shown, like, the women's clothes, like, their clothes in there when you've given the tour. Yeah, you haven't but shown. The thing, is, the thing is, they just want stuff to clip up. Like, I've shown my closet. Why does my closet look that way? Um, I've shown, like, my shoes. I have shown the women's closet before. Um, several times we actually gave a whole house tour it's just people choose to look at what they want to look at and one thing about me is i don't really like to argue with people that have like negativity to say because there's nothing that you can show them that's going to like make them like believe they're always going to poke a hole in something you know right they're like at first it was this is an airbnb then it was oh grant cardone pays for this place then it's oh shanice pays for so they're always going to have something to say you know like, that's why i don't really try to like please them too much right right yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I was just asking because, you know, a lot of people are like, why haven't they asked about, you know, if they really live there or not? So I just wanted to ask that question. Um, my next question is, I know people have asked you to show your revenue. Um, and I know that's kind of like a, it starts this like argument, I guess I would say, when you like people ask you to show your revenue and then like you'll show money spent. And then it will be like, you'll say, well, how can I spend it if I don't have it? which I kind of feel like was like so, a sort of comment type of comment, I guess. So Olivia, I know you have your own business as well. Do you have any revenue to show for it? I do. And so like, you don't feel like, so let me get this straight. You guys feel like money spent can be faked, but revenue can't be faked. I feel like if anything, it's easier mm -hmm. to show revenue versus what somebody actually like spent. You disagree with I that? I think people just want to see the numbers, you know, that you guys talked about. But, but the thing is this, I've shown numbers. Like when the whole thing with Shonda happened, I literally showed my revenue in the last that the last 48 hours or 24 hours or whatever, and it was at $48,000. Like I literally like showed that to her. But so do like, you have shown, like... Shown, but, but I've shown revenue like so many times. Like I, I just personally feel like this. People want to believe what they want to believe. You know what I mean? Right. Like, th there's nothing that you can show a hater that is going to prevent them from hating on you. Okay. Um, and then Shanice and Olivia, um, I have a question, and it may be a little personal. I don't want to get too personal. Uh, does it bother? I know you guys are all for the poly, and but mm -hmm. does it bother you that 
your man because like you guys have said he's in individual relationships with each of with each of you you guys are not all together collectively um does it bother y'all that um he sleeps with all of these or he will be sorry excuse me he will be sleeping with Uh you and not just the wives the girlfriends as well Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a female does that bother you To answer your question, no, it does not bother me because as we discussed before we even started this other relationship, this is what I wanted, so. So you you want to be with someone, are you okay with being with someone who doesn't just sleep with you, but sleeps with other people as well? Like there's a lot of just. Yeah, regardless, his relationship with whomever does not affect his relationship with Physically, though, it kind of does when it comes to having, you know, you know, sex with somebody. It does because that's energy sharing. A lot of people, you know, a lot of females, I know we really believe in energy sharing and you need to be careful who you sleep with and stuff like that. Because We're talking about the same girl that's on Casamigos and Cheetos diet? Uh, what did you we say? Talking about, I said, are we talking about the same girls that are on the Casamigos and Hot Cheetos diet? What is what is that? I mean, I, I guess like yeah, like, like Sean, you be funny. Like I don't know what be going on, Sean, but you're a little like come back to be taking me out. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying, you know, it's kind of just like, you know, for example, if you get your seven wives, you know, all power to you, and one of them is in it for three, four years, and then she leave, are you gonna replace her and then? That's just, an, do you guys not care about how many people he sleeps with? And that's for Olivia, too. Nope. Nope. No? Nope. And I know you guys also said you guys plan on having kids. Um, when you have daughters, if and when you have daughters, does that, you know, would you want your daughters to live by that as that, you know, that mentality as well? What do you what do you mean mentality? Like how you guys are saying, you know, offer the poly, it doesn't bother me. If you have a daughter and you you know what I'm saying you're raising a young, you know, female out of this world and you both are, you know, colored women and you guys have a daughter out here and you wanna raise a nice, you know, young, black, powerful woman, do you want her to, you know, just not really value her body in a way? Because that why to is, me, that's just I, not really valuing yourself. Why would I not value my body if I'm with one man that I trust and that is not on low frequency? Like, <laughs> like what, what do you mean? <laughs> like, I'm not understanding. I mean, I was just, I was just asking, you know, as women, and I, I know everyone's like, I mean, like, you guys are black women, and, and you guys will, you know, if you end up having. Even for a man, if you guys have, you know, sons, would you want your kids to just, you know, not really care about who their partner sleeps with? It's not that, it's not that we don't care. He'll be transparent with it. And we know that and we trust that. It's not like, I think you guys like mistaken it. Like, oh, he's just going to go ahead and like mess with the random girl that he sees across the street. That's like super fun. It has a big not life. random, like, but you don't know that girl. You don't know that woman we from nowhere. We know every single girl coming in here, and the thing is, it will pretty much be a closed loop. Because I don't know, from what I understand from him, is that the women won't be messing with other guys. Right, but I mean, are you all <laughs> gonna go like get tested before he starts to sleep with other women on top of the two he's already sleeping with? Because he already said that. Yeah, you know, I, I, I would. I'm not gonna mess up my royal family. So before I touch any woman, like I was, yeah, we get tested. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. And then um, as the family will grow, as my family grows, obviously, I would like the test will be a lot more regular because more people, more variables. So, yes, precautions will be taken. Okay. Um, and then Shanice, um, yesterday. When yes. Olivia had said she checks mm-hmm. you, you made a mm-hmm. face. What was yeah. it? Was, yes. Face when she mm-hmm. said that. You looked, you gave that bombastic <laughs> man at you. 
I feel like she's just the face. When, okay, I, Shanice, I be hearing you when you say you got a rest bitch face. No, when Olivia said, I checked Shanice, you mm-hmm. looked and was like, like, girl, you do not check me. Like, you did make a face. Like, your eyes got wide when she said that. So are you asking me why I made a face? Or are, yes. you asking Olivia, oh, are you asking Olivia how she checks me? No, no, no. I'm asking you, does, does okay, does Olivia check you? Uh, not that I've seen has she like because what i get what olivia was saying she was saying you guys all check each other i olivia i get what you were saying you were saying you all check each other but the first thing you said was i check shanice you didn't say i check sean you said i check shanice so shanice made a face and i was just seeing shanice if she really be checking you because that's what she said by check i mean like are we operating in a way that's effective and positive i have basically said that like i don't really like the way that this is being spoken to me. That is a check. In my opinion, that is a check. Right. In my opinion, that's a check. I don't like the way that this is happening. How can we go right. ahead and fix it? How can we have an effective call? Okay, so you mean like you all will, you know, y'all don't have a problem with coming to one another about an issue you no, have. No, that's what I mean by a check. It's not necessarily bad. I'm just saying that like, how can we go ahead and change things so that we can have a more effective conversation? And it's not something that's like we're fighting against each other or we're being against each other. Instead, we are actually working towards. I know the Shanice sipping over there, so you don't gotta oh. say too much, Shanice. But I, I see you sipping that water over there. Um, and then I just want to say, you know, y'all are both very beautiful women. Olivia, me and you are actually the same age. I just turned twenty in March. Um, so I was just saying, you know, me and you are the same age, and I just mm-hmm. did want to ask. And then also, I did want to ask. You guys have all three of you was always your ideal relationship being poly. Like before y'all even met Sean and Sean before you met these two lovely women, was it always poly? Like was that always what y'all were like ideal? That's what you guys wanted from jump? Or did someone else give you some insight and then it made you wanna do poly? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Basically, was it your idea or did, like, did I talk you into it? Have you guys uh, always wanted to do poly? Um, like, it was initially, it was initially my love's idea, um, and I was all for it. Okay, Olivia, you too, from the get-go, because like I said, me and you the same age. I have a man, um, and it has never crossed my mind to, yeah, no. It's never just, I mean, I'm not shooting it down. It's just never... I can't, I'm just not okay with it. Um, has it always been for you since you were, you know, old enough to date and stuff like that? Have you always, was poly just ideal? Like when you got out of high school, so were you like, I'm looking for a poly relationship? No, it wasn't. So what, what but changed I didn't know, that? I didn't even know what poly was. So what changed that, um, you know, idea for you? I mean, Honestly, you don't know what you don't know. I was just ignorant about the situation. So when I found out what it actually was and the benefits of it, but also how it would it's aligned with what I want to create for my future, I was like, yeah, right. this is something that I, I'm going to do, right? And Sean, for you, have you always you know, been a man who wanted to be the center of a poly relationship? No, 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 no. I mean, obviously, you know, um, like threesomes and things like that but as far as a poly relationship no but uh, i just got for me what drove me to it i just got tired of getting great women and messing it up i got tired of messing up relationships but what about shanice you wasn't messing it up then right <laughs> that was a big part of it right i got tired of messing up relationships i got tired of having great women around me and just doing the situationships and scared to commit and yeah, it was just a lot. So I was just like, man, I, I value family. I really value family. And I discovered polygyny and, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I was able to, you know, create a family. It looks right. a little different. Yeah. I mean, all power to y'all. I do have a question. Um, when you get your seven wives, will they all have, will all the ladies have access to everything? Every single person will have access. All the queens will definitely have access to, like, the bank account, for sure. So what happens if one of them run off with the bread? Well, the thing is this, we don't, like, 
I know people think you should save money, but you really should not save money. You want you don't want a lot of cash in the bank. You want cash flow. So right. our strategy keep coming. Everybody in. Right. strategies but for us, our strategy, get a bunch of cash, go dump it into a business, go dump it into some real estate, go dump it into something that's gonna cut us a little check every month. So we don't care about having a lot of cash. We want a lot of cash flow. Nobody can take your cash flow. Okay, so let right? me not say run off. Let me not say run off. What if she do something that fuck excuse my language, fuck everybody. Like she do something Like what? <laughs> Like, like, as in she do something that's detrimental to everybody' business assets. Like she, give me, give me, you gotta give me something. an example. You gotta give me an example. Like, let's say you have a one of your queens, and she, you know, everything's going smooth, and she has this. She caught, you know, she got this master plan cooking up, and she went out. And she want to make sure, let's just say you rubbed her the wrong way, Sean, and she just want to get back at you or get back at the other queens. And she, you know, do whatever or because she's got her hand and everything like everybody else do. She do yeah, whatever and mess up with y'all having going on. That's just something that I would have to like deal with. Um, it, it just comes with the territory. So uh, overcoming adversity is a, a part of life. So. Right. And then, okay. I I and then I think I, I just. If I, if I literally thought about what could go wrong right. with different things and what happens if I fail with that business, then I wouldn't be here today. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it to you like this. And this is a very big key to life. This is going to take me like 30 seconds. So be patient and stay with me. When you open up a door, when you go and open up a door, what do you do? You just walk up to a door and you open it and you walk through it. Correct? Mm -hmm. You don't sit up here and think, man, what if the door is locked? What if the what if the what if the door is, I get electrocuted when I when I when I touch the door? What if I get zapped? right? You don't think you what just if, walk through it, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. What if it's cold? What if the handle's hot? Right? You walk through the door, and if the door didn't open, you would look at it like it's crazy. Like, what's wrong with this door? What's wrong with this door? <laughs> but for some reason, when somebody's like, "Oh, I want to be an entrepreneur," or "I want to be a millionaire," you know what they say? Instead of just walking through with full intention and opening the door and going through. Oh man, what if it don't work? What if this? What what if I go bankrupt? What if uh it fails? What if I, I, it's a risk? You guys gotta learn to operate with full intention. Mm -hmm. And the thing, the reason why people are so I rub people the wrong way is because they not they're not used to people operating with full intention, right? So when I say right. I'm gonna do something. I do it. I don't think about counterintentions. I don't think about what can go wrong. That's not the word. Right. That I live but in. the reason why I ask. There's no buts. There's no buts. I, I don't have counterintention in my life. I have full intention. Okay, with everything. So, okay. So the reason why I had asked that was because I know you had an ex-wife. It's been heard, you know, through the grapevine that she had taken. That's kind of the reason why you were homeless. She had taken your car, or your money, or whatever the case may be. After oh, you guys see, listen, man, this is you guys hear all the type of conspiracy. Every, I'm gonna just put this out. Every single woman that's ever been in my life was a blessing, and I messed it up. I messed it up. Okay, that's right? kudos and for I, you taking accountability. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want to make this perfectly clear. Every single woman that's been in my life was a blessing. And mm -hmm. I messed it up. I personally do not feel like there's bad women on this planet. Like, I think 99% of women on this planet are amazing women. And if there's things that happen in a relationship, it's because a guy like leadership. I had plenty of crazy things happen in relationships. And that was on me because I lack the leadership skills to bring the best out of them. So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't want to hear them rumors. They just be like saying all type of crazy stuff. You don't want to so hear the rumors I'm not as far as. To talk too much about. No. I'm not too big talking too much about the past, but I just want to make that perfectly clear. Every woman that's ever been in my life was a blessing and I messed it up. Okay. okay. And I, I so you're saying brother. you don't, right. So you're saying, that's fine. You saying you don't want to hear about, you know, your brother or your ex-girlfriend. No, I don't, don't want to don't, don't, don't hear about my supposed brother. I haven't talked to him in 10 years. That don't make sense. People just, people just say stuff, you know, they have limited information. People are going to say all type of stuff. When you, when you start to become successful, you know what happens? People in your past, people, friends, family, whoever you grew up with, they see you going to heights. They see you doing great things and they be like, they want to pull you down. That's all that it is. You know what I mean? Like, unfortunately, strangers will support you more than your, 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 your family. And sometimes your so-called friends are, it is what it is. Like, I don't, I don't pay that no mind. At the end okay. of the day, I focus on my future. I don't focus on my past.
Right. Okay. Yeah, I did have like one or two more, and then I'm gonna get off. Um, no, I, I think thought... that's a, is it is it about stuff that's like current? I don't really want to. No, it's not. It's nothing. I'm gonna be honest about... with you. Like when you hold on, hold on. When you hit us up on Instagram, I thought you it's would be nothing a about your brother oh, or on. when you hit us up on Instagram, I thought you would be a lot more positive, and it, it's cool. Ask like whatever you. Want. I think it's just like I wish that people focus more so on making their dreams happen rather than focusing on drama. Like we was can I focus negative? on drama, but, but how is that going to improve your life? Right, Sean, but was I negative? Nothing you said up here today was positive at all. You didn't ask us, hey, how can I, how can me and my man start a business together? Hey, what can I do to oh, make sure? Oh, I, I mean, because, you know, hey, how can I get some, hey, how can I get some, you know, insurance for my family? You didn't say anything that's like positive. Because it's I can look into that. Me and him can look into that, you know, ourselves. Uh, well, since it I seems like you got everything figured out. What's your last question? I, Come on, baby, get up. You didn't have I gotta, to, I mean, you didn't have to be rude. You don't have to I'm be not, rude. We're not you know, being rude. It's like, just like, that. you just come up here and you want to talk about drama. It's cool. But I like, wasn't I, talking about drama. I was asking right. Olivia and Shanice questions. You're, you're right. This is, super, so these this is a super productive conversation. What's your last question? Go ahead. Okay. Um, I was going to see the last thing I was going to say was, you know, going to be extremely positive. But since, you know, I'm not going to be negative since you were claiming I was going to be negative. Um, as far as Olivia and Shanice, um, I know, Olivia, that um, you are younger, but it does seem as though, you know, since Shanice was with Sean first, it seems as though he's trying to do the whole um out with the old and with the new, sort of. And I'm not saying you're old at all, Shanice. You're very beautiful. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying it seems as though, you know, you are older, you are wiser. You have been with him longer, know him probably way more than Olivia. That's just factual. Um, Olivia just seems so, like people have said, she seems very eager, like a cheerleader. She definitely gives off very energetic. Like she wants to be, um, you know, like she'll, she'll, she's willing to do whatever to, you know, stand by him. And it just seems as though Sean is interested in Olivia, not just because she's young, but because, you know, she's younger. She's willing to do whatever. And you can see it in her mannerisms. So this is a question for Olivia and Shanice. Do you feel as though not he's trying to replace you, but at the end of the day, you both being the females in his life, it's not like he loves you both equally. No. Do you feel as though he loves you both equally on the same? Yes, we do. We do. I, I do feel as though uh, he loves us like both equally and like he's also very fair. So in regards to like me thinking I, I, Olivia is a replacement. No, that's not my thought process whatsoever. Um, but in regards to me, let's just say in a hypothetical situation, if I were to leave, like someone else would be here and there would be another woman and there would be another woman. He plans on having seven queens. He's going to have seven queens regardless. So That's if you're so if you're not around, you know, it's just he's just going to fill that that spot up. He's going to have seven queens regardless. Okay. I mean, yeah, if, if you're saying he's gonna, he's gonna have, I mean, but how, so if he loves you guys equally, he was dating you beforehand. So how does it make you feel mm -hmm. that he loves you and he loves you the same as Olivia, but he mm -hmm. was with you well, prior to Olivia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So I understand where you're coming from, but I feel as though that question is based on how you would feel in this position. I, we discussed this and the fact that I was on board for this means that I understand like the concept. Does that make sense? So since I signed up for this, this is what I was looking for. This is like, so when the next queen comes, this is something that I will celebrate. Any any queen of any age, Sean? What? Any queen of any age. I feel like your energy is very, um, you said I'm being negative. Your energy is giving very off like you have an attitude. Listen, what, this, what, this what, this think what is your question? What is your question? You say Did I rub you wrong? Legal, anybody that's of legal age, sure, they have like a shot. Of legal age, so 18 and, and up. It doesn't bother you that you're 30 and would be interested in an 18 year old? Who said she had to be 18? You said <laughs> everybody <laughs> does. Any woman of legal age. It is a potential third queen, man. Like, what do you want me to say to that? 
Yeah. No, I just it's not about the age. It's about the emotional maturity, and it's about right. Uh, Did I rub you the wrong way? Did I rub you the wrong way? No, no, no. no. Honestly, 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 I'm, I am a little disappointed. Like I thought you were actually like it would be a more. Well, I did have. I mean, I did. I was gonna. You know, I feel like you guys are. You know, this is y'all hustle, and I feel like you guys are playing it smart by going live every single night and making sure that you guys get the likes and the share. So this is, and even though you say you don't get no money from TikTok, there would be a reason as to why you want the likes and the shares. So even if about, you guys weren't I known help. beforehand, we you guys are definitely known now. We actually want to like help people, which you're going to see tonight. We want to help a bunch of people. We've been thinking of some big ways that we can like help Right, people. but this That's is what y'all are writing on though, the polygamy alive no, no. wave. Yeah, because it's yeah. getting you. I mean, look, it's 30. It's getting you guys the view. So this is what you guys are. This, you know, I know you guys say business, this business, that. But this is what is getting you guys the views and the likes and keeping you guys relevant. That's why it says young professional woman. Would you be in a poly relationship? It's not the business or, because I mean, multiple people have said that and you haven't changed the backdrop. You've kept that up. You get so let me get up. this straight. I'm supposed to live my life taking advice of. But you want people to take advice from you, though. I don't want people to do anything. I mean, if you don't want free information from a Forbes published entrepreneur on how to make more money, then sure, okay. Like, I don't know. But you were kind of upset that I didn't ask you for advice, you know? And it was like, no, I'm just just disappointed. Like, I just know that people can actually get up here and, like, they have legitimate questions about their business. They want to take pictures. My questions were legitimate. And my questions were legitimate. And then, Olivia, you also do this thing where you chime in a lot. Like, you, Ch- uh, Shanice doesn't do that. Shanice chimes in when, you know, she's addressed and when someone asks yeah, her to like, Well, what? I personally like that, the fact that Olivia has my back. So I like when she speaks up But for Olivia me does I a lot of back. that and back, like, in the back. back it's like I'm riding with. We're supposed game. to be riding together. So I like the fact that Olivia talks. Even when she, she, you know, she <laughs> gets slick in her too. mouth. So she feels like it. Even when what? she, you know, will laugh at people and get slick at her mouth and, you know, see, when someone's talking. Just, again, you guys see what you want to see. Like, you guys, like, everybody's so sensitive. I mean, you things. hear her now. Listen, do you have another question? Yeah, I was asking why Olivia gets slick at her mouth. How about this? What's, what's, do you have a business? No, I don't have a business. All right, well, we appreciate you. Where can the people follow you? You can follow me on my Instagram at Kaylani Grace. You can follow me on my TikTok. Yeah. yeah. And, and my advice to you, man, you, you're a young girl. You're a beautiful girl. Me and Olivia are the same of, age. Mm-hmm. You, got a, you got a lot of potential, okay? Set, tell somebody you're young is not an insult. It's a compliment, especially to women. So with that being said, like, I wish you would focus more your energy on how to create a legacy for, like, your family and how to help your community. I'm not worried about having a family. I'm not worried. I'm going to worry about having a nurse. I'm not worried about having no kids right now. All right. So with that being said, with that being said, um, let's bring somebody. That's disappointing, man. She oh, my so gosh. Funny. I was so not expecting that. I know. I wasn't either, man. I hope she starts a business. I hope her and her man go on to do great things. But, you know, we welcome those type of people, too. I was just surprised. Me, too. That's all. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. Um, pretty busy for the rest of this month, but for sure we're going to have to do some stuff. Man. Great to connect. Got some funny names. Not bringing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little, Olivia, make sure you be careful with the smacking in the ear when you up there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. They getting that first person. They getting that first person. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. Okay, we got the groom's family. So it's a family. I look like Kermit. Yeah. Kermit the Frog. How? You're not wearing green. Just my, just the hell. <laughs> Hello, the groom's family. 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, Can how you, you turn doing? Turn your camera on, please. Good. Can you turn your camera? On? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I just sent a request. Is it on? No. Send it again because I don't know how to do it. Oh, send it again. Oh, well, I feel like it's only been sent once. So you press the three dots and then click like a camera or like camera on. And then you got to hit save. You gotta you gotta hit hit save. After you hit the camera, you got to hit save. Damn. Okay. <laughs> All right. What about now? Can y'all see me now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> How's everybody doing tonight? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make my voice deep. <laughs> what up, man? What's, What's your name and where you from, bro? My name is Chris. I'm from Chicago. Uh-oh, Chirac. What part? Yeah. What part? I'm from, I'm from Chicago. Well, I know, but what part? I'm from Chicago, from the south side, oh, east side. Huh? I'm from like the south side. You're not with the drill music, all that BDK, GDK stuff, right? Do it look like it? No, I don't know, bro. I lived in Chicago for two years, man. It was crazy. My house got broken into three times. Oh, yeah, that's that's wild. Chicago's, that's Chicago's a different type of wild, man. I'm from St. Louis, and I thought, like, oh, like, I thought I knew how to, like, navigate those, like, places, bro. But, like, Chicago's different, bro. Just different. Yeah, Chicago stand up. All right, so, look, um... I got a couple questions. I'm a married man. Um, I'm a businessman myself. I'm, a, I, I'm very successful. As you can Wait, see. you said you were what? I'm a married man. I'm a businessman. Yeah. Very, very successful. No, no, no. Wait, I can't hear you. That second word started with a B. You said you're a, a what man? A businessman. Oh, no, I think you mispronouncing it, bro. It's a business. A businessman. <laughs> a businessman. Hey, ha, 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 however you want to. However you want to. A businessman. Man. Man. <laughs> All right, so look, my, my thing is, so look, I, I got a couple questions, you know what I'm saying? I, I watch y'all here and there, y'all pop up on my For You page, you know what I'm saying? I don't be on the live that much because I got too much going on in my life as a business man. Um, there we but go. My, my thing, I got a question for the two ladies real quick, though. Um, so y'all polygamy thing, I ain't got nothing against nobody, what y'all do, you know what I'm saying? Everybody do what y'all do. But my question is, actually, no, it might be for you, Sean. So what if your two ladies said, hey, Real quick, can we bring a couple guys in with us to be our kings? You said, what if they did that? Yeah. Is it okay for them to have more kings as well? Nah. They so, can do whatever they want to do, but if they wanted another man, then like... Uh, so you basically... We would no, it's, we would no longer be in a relationship. So it's double standards, basically. Yes, 1,000%. Just like when we want a baby, I'm not the one that's going to get pregnant. Double standard. Uh, Just like when girls go to the club and they get in for free. Double standard. Yeah, for sure. I guess. Um, so another question. What qualifies you to be a uh, success coach? Like, what do you what do? What, 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 what are your um, credentials? Because, like, I know you keep telling people you're in the Forbes and all of that and all of this. But, you know what I'm saying, you can also pay for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So did you pay for this? Like, cause I'm just I'm trying to get to understanding, like, why do you consider yourself a, 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 a success coach? Why do I consider myself to be a success coach? Let's see. I'm a Grant Cardone certified 10X coach. I'm a Grant Cardone licensee. You can pay this for that guy. too. You know, oh, I know no, who no, Grant no, Cardone no, no, is. No, no, no. This guy, I know this, him personally. This guy, this guy, this guy is a billionaire. Um, I would say I make more money than like the average person. Um, I love substantially more money than the average person. I would say that my family life is on point. I would say that I have good physical health. I, I would say I have good mental health. So I think mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially, I've achieved things that 99% of the world won't do. Does that make me better than anybody? No. I feel like I'm just a little bit further along in my journey. And what's the point of making it if you're not going to give back? Reach one, teach one, right? Ain't that what the saying is? So I feel like I have yeah, but like, you, Wait, wait, wait. wait. Like, so like, you say, like you say your life's together, but you don't got a passport. You, okay. you, you make six figures, but what you don't got a passport. What does that have to do with success? What does that have to do with success is my question. But how would you be successful if you can't even travel nowhere? See, I'm a, I'm, I'm a businessman. Okay, so I, have, I have real estate. I'm a real estate investor, so I have properties all over the place. 
So if I'm if I'm a real businessman and I can't go nowhere, how am I going to run a business? Because that's just not making sense to me. You say you get all your life well, together. If all your me, life is this, together, me, you have a passport. I'm just be honest with you. Let that's get, the simplest thing straight. you should have. At, at, the, at the age of 18, that's the first thing you yeah. should apply for is a passport. My dude, okay. a businessman, a real business. You think great. Uh, Bro, let me calm down because you really pissing me off because you make no sense. So you think Grant Cardone doesn't have a passport? What does that what have, does to do? have to do? With but does he have so, a passport? I'm pretty sure he doesn't. I yeah, guarantee does. you before he even thought about hopping on live and wasting his time on live, getting a passport was more important because being okay. on live is not important. You're, you're a right, passport bro. is right, because if Grant Cardone said right now, hey, Sean, right, let's fly out. Hey, let's fly out to Dubai real quick. Can you go? Yeah, so the thing about that can you is, go? If I want, but can you go? Listen? If I told you right now, hey, bro, you know, pack question, your bag. Bro. I got the jet waiting. Let's go to Dubai. Can you go with me? Right. Let me know when it's my no, turn to can't. talk. Let me, let me know when it's my turn to talk. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got the flow, my guy. Are you, you sure? You sure it's my turn? You got the flow, my dude. All right. So if that's the case, I needed to go to Dubai. You can buy a ticket and it would actually expedite the passport process for you. So, yes, I would be able to go. If that was my priority, yes, I would be able to. But it's not your priority because you ain't got it. But anyway, so we, we, we'll we leave you there in San got, Diego. Cause I, that's where I you ain't at. got what? So we, we'll just leave you there in San, Diego, in San Diego, wherever you at, because that's where your main income is anyway. So, but my whole thing is, so you're telling people also, like, they need to go to school to have a business degree, right? Or they need to go to school to be what? successful in business? When that's I, the opposite hold on, of what hold on, we hold on, said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When did I say that? I was on a live and I heard you say something like that. No, I actually, I'm, I'm not really like a big college person. It was, so it was somebody you said something to. She was, I, I can't, because I don't be paying attention like that. But the young right, lady well, was you're talking not about attention. something and you <laughs> Listen, told her she needed a degree. If we're going to speak on things that are like accurate, let's not speak on it because it's just misinformation. I never well, said Well, no, that. It's, it's accurate. I just don't remember it's what you were talking about or when it was. So it's completely it's accurate. accurate. You get what I'm saying? You told the young lady that she needed a degree. Which to me, it doesn't make sense. You don't need a degree to, to run a business. You just don't. I know, because I don't have a degree. So what are you talking about? I don't either. Olivia, sweetheart, the puppet. Yo, Ain't nobody talking no. to you, baby. Hey, hold on, man. She can, listen, bro. She can talk <laughs> Ain't nobody even talking to you, shorty. Because only okay. time you know how to talk is when your man <laughs> talking. Yo, so bro, back to everything respect. else. Listen, so, listen. So, so my whole thing is, I got another question. So if you oh, are you going to cut me off. No, 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 no. I'm not going to cut you off. Oh, okay, I thought so, I thought you hold on, bro. Real, there. real quick, real quick, real quick. You're on my queen's platform. I don't care. Have respect, but, you, ha have but res you're on a public have platform. Have, re have respect you're on for a her, bro. Public platform. Ha okay, but have respect for her. Like if we I can't talk to her, what if we to? can't talk to each other with respect, what did I disrespect her? I call her your puppet master, your puppet, right? All right, bro. That's what she is. So peep game, bro. We are either gonna talk to each other with respect, or we are gonna not talk at all. You choose, bro. Don't mute my mic. I'm a grown I, I, ass I man. Muted your mic. Don't, I muted don't, your mic. Don't I muted mute my your, mic. I muted your I'm mic. I'm a grown I muted ass your mic. man. So like right, I was saying, you can either drop me. So we either going to talk to each other with respect or not at bro, all. Bro, I can pick. unmute my mic. You can Are pick. you a clown? You can I can pick. unmute my mic. You're bro, the biggest okay. clown that I know. You, all right, so all right, you ready for out. the rest of your business questions? <laughs> this guy, bro. That we need to change that, uh, yeah, change the screen now. This man does not know that he's like talking to nobody right now. <laughs> All right, let's unmute this mic. So, how do you Yo. feel like you can nourish seven women? How do mentally, I feel like I can do it? Physically, financially. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. How hold do you on. This think is a great, you can do that? Listen, 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 bro. This is a great question. So, with this being said, so answer it. You gotta okay. listen. You gotta listen, bro. Give us a so, with this being said, why you up here, bro? Respect my queens. So, like I said, how can you? All right. Did you hear? What nourish I just said, them with all due respect. With all due respect, did you hear what I just said? Bro, what? you either so gonna you ask gonna my question, what I'm saying? or you're not gonna answer my question. It's just that. No. You so you just so, so you just up here just wilding, right? How, how am I wilding? I'm asking you a question. Because I'm saying I'm okay. So, so, you so let me question? get this straight. Let me get the let me let me get this straight. I'm telling you, man. I already man, asked. I already have asked a respectful question, conversation. So I'm, you, I'm gonna let you finish, and you just answer the question that I asked. All right. Perfect. So while we up here, let's respect the ladies. Is that too much to ask for? Did I call somebody out their name? 
No, but you're just trying to tell her not to talk. And the, you did call her out her name. You called her. I told her. I said, "Young lady, like I'm not talking to you." His okay. Puppy. But she. But she wanted but to. I wasn't in, talking bro. to her. But when she I wanted to talk, chime I'm in. I'm ready to talk to her. Then that's when she can speak. But she wanted but that's to chime in. That's how you treat them. How much no, you have respect when you treat them with respect? Okay. You, you get what I'm saying? No, I don't get. Have what you, you ever heard that's that? That's your saying? opinion. How are if you? If I didn't treat them with respect, how is somebody going to give respect when it's not? How do you expect somebody to give your queen respect when you don't respect them? Do you get what I'm saying? Right, you're there's there's plenty of times. Right, That's literally not So are you going to answer my question, though? So how do you feel bro. like you can nurse so seven women yeah, as soon as we get, as financially, soon as we get physically, and emotionally? Are you, what you still, what you steady coming up with, like, stuff to say back to me so you can think about your answer or something? No, I, I do that. Come on, bro. This is easy work, man. You're, you're up here talking about- I can't about tell because you still answer that I, the question. That I, that I said. Debating you is easy work. Oh, uh, Okay. The I only thing you, try you said about life. you tried in person, not you, behind the you camera. You say what? Let's do it. You, you say what? I really would love for you to debate me, not behind the camera in real life. Did you hear me now? Do, like, what, what would be the difference? What would, be the difference? what would be the difference? What would be the difference? So the word difference is, <laughs> you will be forced to answer the question because you're in front of my face, not behind the camera. Do you All get right, what man, I'm what, what's, your, what's your what, what's your question, bro? I've been asked you the question. 30 I'm times, and you know what the question is. You're just trying to think of your answer. You get what I'm saying? You got it so, all figured again, out. I tell people for the to go to college. Time, how do you feel like you can nourish seven women physically, mentally, mo I'm sorry, physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially? How do tell me how you yourself can take care of these seven women? The same way I take care of two. But that's not answering my question. How is that not answering your question? So how are you taking care of two? By communicating with them, seeing what they actually need, giving them what they need. But what I just said is, how are you going to take care of seven women emotionally? So I need, I need the breakdown. I don't need a, oh, because that's what I'm doing now. I need a breakdown. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't understand the question. What do you mean like a breakdown? You mean how am I going to How are you going to do it? Oh, well, okay. So I know on this day, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to do this for my seven women. Oh, if my seven women or one of my women feel like this out of my seven women, I'm going to make sure she feels like this. I'm going to do this to make her feel comfortable. I'm going to do this, this, this. Do, do, like, yeah. come on. This, like, yeah. bro, aren't yeah. you a business yeah. man? So, you so, know this. Come on, dog. Yeah, so I didn't understand what your, your question was. So with that being said, for me, I feel like it's all about communication. And I mean, obviously, I'm going to be seeing them, interacting with them. Just because I have seven women doesn't mean I have to see them only one day a week. Like, why can't we all be up under the same roof or be in the same building? Nobody said that. But how are you going to make all seven women feel equally loved, feel comfortable, feel secure, feel like, oh, I'm straight? How are you going to yeah. do that? Well, here's the thing. Comparison and then, is, how are you going to sit up here and take care question. of seven women me, and then possibly seven kids, too? You get what I'm saying? Me, so how would you make your turn. whole 16 people feel loved? Is it my turn? I'm asking you a question. Yeah, it's your turn. So tell me how right, are you. Let me, me finish real I, quick. I, I, so how I, are you going to be able to take care of seven women and they seven kids? So go ahead. Just, just it's your turn. Go ahead. Seven women, seven kids. How are you going to do it? It's my turn? Seven kids, seven women. How are you going to do it? All right. I just want to make sure it's my turn. Okay. So. You're a clown. No, I'm not a clown. No, you're you're, you're being a clown right now. You're just saying <laughs> stuff that's not even real. So with that being said, with that being said, Comparison is the thief of all joy. These are seven individual relationships. And how would I have a successful relationship? It's the same as having one. You talk to your partner, you communicate with their needs, and you give them what they need and want. That's it. Where there is commitment, creativity will follow. It's just the same way you sit up here and tell me you want to become a billionaire. And then I tell you, you can't do that. How are you going to become a billionaire? you would be like, bro, I will just do it. This is the goal. This Wait. is the target. I will figure are you talking it out. About, you, you're talking like hypothetical. Okay. I'm like, I ain't never. Yeah, it's that. the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same exact thing. If you told me right now, hey, I want to become a billionaire in the next 10 years. And I said, but I'm going to tell you how, how you're going to do that. See, I'm going to tell you matter. how I'm going to do it. Like, hey, I'm going to put myself on the schedule. I make sure I'm going to go to work at my business 24-7. I'm going to do this, 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 and this. Not just, uh, oh, well, the same way I'm a millionaire now is the same way I'm going to 
become a billionaire. That, that that's not telling me shit. You feel me? That's good, man. How long you been an entrepreneur? You said what? How long you been an entrepreneur? Roughly ten years. Ten years? Yes. That's awesome, man. Have Absolutely. Got a ten thousand square foot home. What, what do you What do you focus on? Like, what do you What, what, what I'm kind a real of estate developer. What? Right, baby. I'm not. We're not talking about that. We talking about that poly couple. You said what? <laughs> You said what? I ain't hear what you said. You said what I said, do I, I do said, for a living? What do you what do you what do you what do you focus on? You do, you buy apartment buildings or what? I buy commercial properties, yes. That's awesome, man. I and I buy, we want to get real, we want to get in real estate as well, man. I'm sorry? I said we're gonna we wanna get in real estate as well. That's something you should have been in, man. Real estate is the, mm -hmm. the easiest business to get into. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like Hey, if your girl, one of them do credit, right? Who do credit? One of y'all do credit, right? Yeah. She do so credit. Thing, so the, the, you should have been head of house when you first met her. You should have been head flipping properties when you first met her. Because that's the easiest way to make money. Mm. It's real estate. Yeah. Mommy. Easiest. I, I guess, for me. Instead of sitting on live all night. For me, you get what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be honest with me, you, bro. I, hey, my be, wife is a full-time content creator, so I know how the game work, bro. So y'all getting paid for these lives and all y'all videos. And we everything. haven't got paid yeah. a single piece. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at my page, we got almost 300,000 followers. You know what I'm saying? So we know yeah. how it go. You know, so we, we don't be on live because we got real businesses to handle. Huh? Take our business real quick. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. Because if you had a, if, if she would have put you on to the real estate, we wouldn't be on live talking to you right now, gang. But hey, it's good money on here too. But try YouTube though. YouTube pay good on their live. I don't think TikTok. Yeah. Is. I know, but but that, but this isn't our this isn't a source of income for us. Um, oh, okay, so, right. You know, yeah, okay. You know, uh -huh. you're in real say estate. That, you know, say that, Cardone, say that for right? somebody else, bro. Come on, come on. Bro. You know, Grant, you, you, hey, know Grant you can't Cardone, finesse right? a finesse, a gang. Oh, so you're a finesser. Everything in this world is a finesse. Are you kidding me? Interesting. All right. Everything so, in this world is finesse, and you know that, bro. So stop playing. No, I disagree with that. So with that oh being said, oh my god. Okay, bro. With that being said, with that being said, um, you know Grant Cardone, right? Absolutely. So he's a big mentor of mine, and like his uh, his. You know Richard Hart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. His invest. His. But wait, do you know Richard Hart? Hold on. Invest in yourself. Invest in your business. And then invest in real estate. So you must have bought one of that man's books because you be riding him heavy, boy. Personal, <laughs> like, you must have well, why wouldn't you want to listen to somebody that's worth eight billion dollars? So you said what? Goal, you said that's goal, worth how much? Wait, wait, wait. Grant Cardone's worth eight billion dollars. So with that being said, our goal is to it, scale our business to a million a month. Once we're making a million dollars a month, then start investing in real estate. Right, right now we're not making a million a month. Ooh, Jesus, you got it backwards, bro. No, but, no hey, I'm gonna let backwards. you have it. I'm gonna let you have it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. You should probably come to Chicago and let me educate you on this because you, if you rocking with me, you would have been oh, made. Man. You would have been wanna... made millions. You said what? I don't want to. I, I I don't want to. Like, do listen, man. If it's not on the coast, I can't do it. Chicago's too cold for me. No, I'm not telling you to come live with me or do nothing like that. But let me come school you and show you the game. I'm living in a 10,000 mm -hmm. square foot home, my guy. That's good, you know what man. I'm saying? With theaters, workout rooms, elevators, and everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All off of real estate. I don't need to make millions of dollars first to go into real estate. So I, yeah. what I did was I started small in real estate and went big in real estate and started doing commercial. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yep. I'm not understanding what you're saying. I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna just say this, bro. Cause you talking you, to a real got, business man right here. Like, yeah, look at my house, my dude. You've been in the you game. You've been in the game. You see my house? Game. This bro, is my main the, level. So this is real business man right here. You've been in the game ten years, man. Congrats on everything you've done. That's awesome, bro. We need more leaders like that. You guys gotta realize. How long you been in the game? Was, hold on. Three years ago, I was sleeping in my car, bro. Like three years ago, I was sleeping in my car. So I went from sleeping in my car to here right now i'm about to wrap up a huge deal at the in may a huge deal in may something I'm, i've been keeping under wraps um but for but, okay me, well let me I tell you rather, this I to rather, be just I to be rather, just homeless rather, three years ago my hold guy hold on, hold on, hold on. you need to be hold a little on, bit more me, humble for, i'm gonna just be honest with you you, so need, to, for you me, need to put your so tail for between me, your ass a little bit more and hold stop hold being on, so hold hold ain't nothing wrong with being confident nothing at all wrong with being confident but the way you get down, my dude, you really yeah. need to, to, to slow down. 
No, I don't. No, no I don't. I don't Bro, you, slow you hype all, yourself bro. up I'm too much this. to make you look like you're a nobody. I'm going to just be you honest. What? That's why 95% of the people that join your life, they talk shit because you hyping yourself yeah. up too much. You get what I'm saying? No. So like, no, no. like if, I, if I'm on live right now, Ain't nobody finna yeah. hype me up. I mean, ain't nobody gonna look at me like, oh my God, he's a clown because I don't hype myself up to this level. And okay. then okay. also kind of like backtrack on the same stuff I be saying too. Um, I don't backtrack on anything. So with that being said, I'm not gonna stop hyping myself up. I will say it and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna be one of the most famous and powerful billionaires on this planet. And congratulations to your year 10 and all the success that you've done. I'm pretty sure it's a struggle and a grind, but it's going to be, I can't wait to see where I'm at in year 10, bro. That's all I'm going to say. For me, I don't want to do small deals in real estate. I want to do big deals in real estate. And instead of buying a one or $2 million building, I'd rather buy a 15 or $20 million building and that'd be my first deal or $30 million building. And once the business is making a million dollars a month, I can do much bigger deals. So, so, you, from, so you're trying to tell me, so you're trying to tell me, you're just going to go into real estate, not knowing shit about it and go buy you a $20 million building and get fucked okay. over, right? Okay. Anytime I, anytime I, anytime I, anytime I do something new, and this is a good point because people can learn from this. Anytime I, you do gotta something do new, something. I, okay, look, you ha if you no, want to crash up the move, you actually gotta get your I feet wet. So if I tell, if your girl tell me right now, hey Chris, let's go do credit. Oh, okay, cool. I can YouTube it, Google it. I can talk to her all motherfucking day and talk to you and Shanice however the fucking go down. But I'm not gonna know how to do it until I actually do it myself. So no, I don't know. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a type I'm of a, learner where I got to get my feet wet. It ain't no like, visual, gonna... ain't no talking, all that book crap. Like, ain't no yeah. Grant Cardone no, 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 going to make me do nothing. I got to do it myself first. I, I, I disagree. That's where mentorship is critical because the, the beauty about a mentor. You're going to have a mentor, but dude, okay. Are you, bro, you're slow. So are you no, kidding me? So yeah, if you became bit, my mentor bit. and you said, hey, whatever whatever you do for a living, which I don't know, I don't care, but whatever you do for a living, you mentor me on it. Do you think I'm going to run with every fucking thing you say? No. You need to figure it out on your own first. Do your research. That's why it's called D-Y-O-R. Do Did your you? own research yeah. before you yeah. hop out on a limb yeah. and try to follow another person. Yeah. So my question to you is- Because what work for me you ain't going to work for you and what work for you ain't going to work for bro. me. You're right, bro. Did you, uh, did you, you fought a light growing up? Did you do boxing or martial arts? You said what? Did, did you fight a light growing up? Did you do boxing or martial arts? No, I played a lot of sports. Uh, so my question to you is like, when your coach was telling you something, did you listen to your coach or did you just do what you wanted to do? Both. Um, well, That's how I, I led I'm my team to championship. I'm, I'm you get what so I'm saying? Me, so like right me, now, my mentor me, is like telling it. me a certain thing. I'm going to go research my own shit and make my own decision. I'm not going to run with what somebody else tell me. Yeah. Are you slow? Yeah. I just, I, I personally think the best leaders make the best followers. That's just my two cents. And if, if I, if well, I, I hear you said the best leaders make the I'm best what? Hold on, hold on, wait. Let me hear that. The best leaders make the best what? The best leaders make the best followers. The best leaders make the best soldiers. That's just military one on one. We learned that if you're gonna if you're gonna be a great leader someday, you gotta learn how to follow somebody, yeah. like unequivocally. So me, if I'm getting a mentor, I'm gonna you're get not somebody. This. I'm not so to much follow success. somebody, but you're I'm not gonna right. ride they tail all the way. So you basically trying to Girl, tell me. Like, so man. so if you want to get into real estate, right? And I'm, I'm Mr. Grant Cardone, who you really, who, who, who you rock with. And I call your phone and say, hey, uh, what's your name again? Sean, right? So I call Sean and be like, hey, man, I got this $20 million deal right now. And it's ready to go. Let, let's go. You say I'm with it. So whatever no, I say, because no I'm Grant asked. Cardone, you going to say okay? Oh, yeah. No questions asked. Man, I need, you know what? Let me call him so he can just fuck you out your money. Because that's what's going to yeah. happen to you. Well, see, you you want to know you want to know. This, I'm just be honest with you. About me. You cannot you be so trusting, and that, and that's how I, I know you fresh to this no. money because you're gonna no. be so trusting and you're gonna get screwed. No. That's that's what happens to new money. You get screwed. That's fine. <laughs> you that's get fine. screwed. New see, money always gets screwed because they that's trust fine. too much. You know what? And I'm trying to, see, I'm trying to help no, you out. Trying to help you out, gang. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, when you hear from ten years from now, you're gonna be like, damn, I remember that live when Chris was on there telling me, hey, stop being so trusting. Ten years from now, I'm gonna be a billionaire, and we're gonna be having a totally different conversation. 
With that being said, with that being said, with that Just being said, don't be so trusting so you don't get screwed over. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that because you hey, can you always know what? Make That's your bag because somebody so you are gonna fumble your bag. You are gonna go into depression. And somebody else gonna come in. Super. Up your gonna, bro, bro. That's just how it's gonna happen. No. <laughs> no. You want to see, and this is why. All right, but this, look, I'm, and this I'm, is I'm, hold on really quick. Go ahead. I ain't, I ain't gonna go this ahead. This is go why. Ahead. This is why I say invest in yourself and invest in your business. You know why? Because I have ability. Once I learn to make ten million dollars a year, guess what? Nobody can take you don't, that you, ability. Yeah, hold on. You so no, hold, on bro. hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Either. Hold on. Just Nobody can ever take away my ability. <laughs> you ain't do a fuck Nobody can ever take away my ability. See, people who go straight into investing into things, they invest in everything that they people invest in what they believe in. I believe in myself, so I invest into myself. So I have ability to make money. I don't care what happens to money because I know that I can make more. I don't. But you have just said that you were going to ride and, and listen no, to no, what no, no, somebody no, no, else no, no, just no, said, no, no, though. No, 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 no. You get what I'm no. saying? Listen, so no matter how listen, much you I'm have invested you in mean, yourself, you just told me you the exact words but came out your mouth. I said, if I was Grant Cardone and I told you I got $20 million, I mean, let's go do the $20 million deal with this building. Yes, and I told you, let's go. Would you do everything that I said? You said yes. So yes. what's the point of investing in yourself when you got another man who's going to tell you what the fuck to do? Because somebody's better at that. If this dude's worth $8.5 billion, who am I to tell? How do you he's know like, he's better he's at that, Let me get this straight. So you How got do you know Elon he's better Musk at that? You advice, and you gonna be How like, do you know he's better at that? I don't that? trust you to build my business. How do you know he's like, better at that, though? No, like, how do you know he's better at that? Huh? Tell me. Tell me right now, how do you know he's better at that? What proof do you have besides a book? He's worth eight billion dollars because he's out of a, a book there. you bought, what are you talking out of a book about? you bought, out of a book you bought, right? At, right, bro. What? No, I'm telling you, I would literally learn directly from him. So I'm a hire a mentor, bro. So the man is not even worth that much money. He's not worth right, eight bro. billion dollars, bro. Oh he is not. Now, I can tell I you some that. people. Do you know who Richard Hart is? Go Google him right now. Go on y'all phone right now. Google Richard Hart. That's a billionaire. Good. Not no who damn Grant it? Cardone. <laughs> not a motherfucker He's who be selling. Look, bro, at the end of the day, look, my, my, hey, I see why you do what you do. You're, you're a baby version of Grant Cardone. That's who you're trying to be. You're trying to be a baby version of him. Mother. I'm not trying like, to be anybody. Bros are nobody. I'm He's to be me. not worth no fucking money for real. You said what? He's trying to be Shanti. I'm trying to be me. I ain't trying to be anybody. I'm trying to be me. Nah, you giving Grant Cardone vibes all day. That's fine. And your girl gonna be, man, that's your chili. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shanice, Shanice, she looks real fed up. I don't know, but I ain't trying to talk about your relationship, but your chili, man, that's Olivia. That's your go-getter right there, boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. And then another thing, I got a question, though, because my wife brought up something the other day. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all doing this as like, okay, look, is this a little TV show? Is this fake? Or is this real? Dude, like, y'all real, real. Seven, listen, we got offered seven TV shows, bro. That's the least bro, we don't. Work. No, I don't care about that. What I'm asking you is, are y'all a TV show? Like, are y'all I think this is better like, than any TV show on Do y'all be fucking for real, for real? Or y'all hey, just this trying is to better do this than for, like, any TV the scene? show there is, bro. This is, real, this is real. This is better than any TV show out there. Oh, that's what's up. But at the end of the day, man, I'm going to pray for y'all. Not to our relationship, but I'm going to... I'm going to pray for you and your new money and that you listen to what I just said about not trusting everybody that come your way. Because everybody nah, that come your way is not going to see your best interest. Because I'm going to just be honest with you. 98% of the world only give a fuck about themselves. I'm just going to yeah. be honest with you, gang. That's, that, that's, that's fine, bro. That don't mean you can't learn from people. You know what I mean? If somebody screws I me, never what said happens? Don't, a little bit so look, that's the difference from learning from people and learning from the mistakes from other people. Do you get what I'm saying? No. I so you can learn that. from people, but are you willing to learn the mistakes? Yeah. Chris. What's up, bro? Hey, man. Where can people, you, you got a coaching program? I don't do that on here, bro. No, I don't do that. All right. I was gonna say, where can people find you, man? Where can they find my, you? My, my people, my you. community who know me, they can find me, gang. And well, all these 30,000 people, look, 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 real quick, real quick, bro. You these got 37,000 people that you got in here. All they got to do yeah. is click my little name, 
and they'll figure mm-hmm. it out. I ain't got to put myself on blast. I don't need the advertisement. I, I'm a, yeah. I, I don't so need let me the advertisement. Get you don't care about helping people? They, I help a lot of people. They're going to find right. me. If they want so help, they're going to find me, right? They help people. If they want help, they can find me. I'm right here on this public platform. Click my name, and there you go. It's just that simple. I got another question for you, man. What's up, big dog? Do you need a passport to start a business? I'm just trying to make sure. To run a successful business, yes. That's why I have properties everywhere that I have. Yeah, you want to be successful? So you need yes, a passport to run a successful business? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Call Tell me where it's written call, down. Call your man. Call your man. Ask your man hold on, hold on, about hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, Show me the so law let me tell you something. You, you can ask to make any dollars. person. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. The first thing I thought about when I turned 18 was getting a passport. So let me get this 18, straight. my dude, when I was broke. You get what I'm saying? So, so, so not to think right. that I got six figures and two bad women next to me. Damn, so wait, you ain't even took your women out the country yet, but you want seven more? Nope, you can't not. even show them the world, but you're going to pull up seven more females? Come on, yep. gang. Do better yep. than that. Because look, you know what? Let me not even do that. No. Well, first of all, I don't remember the Rockefellers and the Henry Ford and all that, their family needing a passport to... to Girl, be quiet. Your man ain't even took you out the country yet. When he take you out the country, then you can talk, girl. Girl, be quiet. Yo, you done got speak, snatched up man. because he bought you a happy meal. No, man. Yo, hey, bro, chill, you just chill. disappointed me, my no, dude. You, chill, bro. you just man, disappointed me. Bro. You can't bro. take two women out the country, bro. but you can pull on seven more? Come on, gang. Yes. So tell me right now, how you gonna make your hey, Chris, so look, Chris, so look, so look, so look, so look, so look, so look, so look. When Grant Cardone pull up on your girls and say, hey, let's go to Bali right now. Go to Bali. You can't go. I can get a passport. They gonna take your girls though. They gonna take your girls, gang. Hey, you right, you right. Please. Come to Chicago. Do not come to Chicago because my gang gonna take yours. Boy, you can't even take them out the country? Man. Okay. Jesus. Right. You really just disappointed me right now, man. You really just right. disappointed me. You can't even take your two women out the country, but you can smash. Hey, can I, I got a question for you, bro. What's up, gang? You wanna see my passport and my stamps? Yeah, no, no, no. I got a question. How hard is it for somebody to get a passport? Oh, you can get it in one day. But at the end of the right, day, so why is this a conversation? Because you don't have it. It's and you want bro. two you women. Can do it in one day. You why can't do it though. You should have been done it, bro. You should have been done it. That's that's you that's just point blank. Period. Work? You should have been done it. And Shanice, you know it's true. That's why she ain't fucking saying that the bus as your cheerleader. <laughs> hey, but yo, let me go. I don't know how to get up out of here. Let me go. I got real business Sanders. You don't need a passport to run a business, especially if you're. I didn't say you needed a passport to run a business, but a real businessman will have one. I guarantee you, Grant Cardone got one. I guarantee you, every billion and millionaire that you want to throw up or bring up that you want to be all about, I guarantee you, on my mama, they got one. But let me let me let me let me let me show you something, bro. So this month. In March, I spent a hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars. Right, so far in March, oh, he, 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 jumped off. he jumped off. Yes, I spent a hundred and fifty-nine dollars on entertainment and fun. <laughs> we barely even go to the movies. We don't spend t- spend money on entertainment. That's just not what we do, guys. Listen, there's different strategies, different folks, different folks. Our priority right now is not going out the country. Our priority is getting freedom. Trips don't make you rich, okay? You got to get the assets to pay you money to go on the trips. Why take money and go on the trip and then come back to the same problems? Right now, we're chasing freedom. We did $138,000 so far this month, and we spent $159 on entertainment. That lets you know where our priorities are. And the guy said, hey, it takes one day to get a passport. <laughs> guys, and if you guys are watching this, hey man, you do not need a passport to be successful. You do not need a passport to build a million dollar business. Doesn't even like make sense, right? So with that being said, 
with that being said, I wish the guy would have had some type of program to shout out because I feel like, you know, people could have learned from him. It was a good conversation. I know. I don't know. Some people just don't want to share their gifts. It's okay. Yeah. So that's that. Guys, and that's what that's what it is when you're like hyper focused, man. You know what they say, man. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. Most of you guys care about that stuff. Trips, partying, all of that. Listen, and there's nothing wrong with that. Do what you do. But for us, we we're focused on building. I never heard somebody say, this trip made me rich. Going to Mexico made me rich. Going to Bali made me rich. Like, cool, it's awesome. But for me, I feel like, yo, I gotta get to a whole nother level. That's just my two cents. Yeah. So, mm hmm I What's mean. What's wrong? Nothing wrong. I mean, it would make sense if you like, maybe you had an international business, but. You make money in America. Yeah, yeah, you guys can make money in America as well. And, and like you said, it takes one day to get your passport. So, with that being said, it was awesome. Yo, we got a special, 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 special giveaway for you guys, man. Um, so, a single mom this month, we are literally going to be paying a single mother's rent this month. We're going to have a contest. All my single moms in the chat, put a 10x in the chat if you're a single mom. In the chat, in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. Single mom, single mom, single moms. Okay, I can't get a passport, but I'm about to pay somebody rent right now. All right, 10x, 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 10x. Somebody, somebody said my rent 15k. Dang, I'm trying to get like you. You're <laughs> rent more than mine. 10x. Okay. So with that being said, what we got? Thirty thousand people in here. Mm, how do we want to do this? Listen, if you're a single mom, this is what it's gonna take. You gotta send a video of yourself. With your kid, like a selfie video, introduce yourself, introduce the kid, and how much your rent is. Um, like, show us like how, how much your actual rent is. The first person that I see with like the best story um, is going to win. This is a hundred percent legitimate. This is a hundred percent real. DM me that information on Sean underscore T underscore Adams uh, Instagram. And some lady, some lucky single mom out there, we're going to pay your rent this month. Okay. Um, why are we doing this again true wealth isn't about money true wealth is about impact on people and we want to positively impact you guys we also going to be doing more giveaways man we really want to help you guys and we thought of some other ideas um to help you guys out so with that being said again single moms criteria video of you and your kid also uh tell us how much your rent is maybe you can show us that too uh and maybe like 10 seconds on why you know you want or feel like you should win. Um, so go ahead, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. Just DM me uh, single mom and then shoot me that video as well, okay? Uh, so with that being said, with that being said, um, yeah, that'll be pretty much that. Anything you wanna announce, Ben? Um, no, just go ahead and subscribe to the San Diego Royalty YouTube channel and the San Diego Royalty TikTok page. Subscribe, like the videos, posting more replays, and should we say that? Yeah, no. Um, so, with that being said, um, I'll also, if you guys are watching this, man, we really want to help you guys, right? I, I can't teach you about going out the country, but I can teach you how to make money all right so with that being said if you guys are watching this and you got a 700 plus credit score uh dm me on instagram free game sean underscore t underscore adams dm me free game um and i'll teach you for free how to make 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a month and i promise you you won't need a passport to do these strategies okay so with that with that being said even if you ain't got a passport you can still dm me free game if you got a 700 plus credit score okay we want to help you guys um and then for my guys out there watching um, listen, man, if you really want to have super massive success, now I can't teach you how to get a passport, but I can teach you how to make 10000 a week, okay? Uh, DM me mentor. If you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me mentor. Sean underscore T underscore. DM me mentor um, on Instagram. Uh, and I'll probably.